morning guys, welcome to Canines and Camper Vans. If you haven't been with us before, I'm Emily, Andy's driving and my dogs are actually asleep in the back at the moment. Now we're on our way today to an event, um, it's to raise money for guide dogs and it's called the Great British Walk 2020 and we're heading over to the event at Raby Castle and we should be there very shortly. Um, we had a bit of an incident on the way so we may be a bit late, we'll give you an update on that later. I think they've got a little agility course for the dogs and some fun activities so we'll be able to join in them. Dogs everywhere. <laughs> you all right? Can we sign up on a date, please? Oh, we thank you. It's signposted all the way around uh, with blue things, but it's just in case. Thank you. <laughs> Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> so we've set off on a walk. Obviously the dogs trying to get round. We've got a lovely scenery of the castle. see right the way over there there's actually a, a group of deer we've just missed them they've all been running there's a lake or something down there and they've all just been running down there to try and get some water well that was really interesting deer's running about there's going to be stuff with activities and whatnot later it costs a fair amount of money to actually train a guide dog up 
so you can sponsor those GoFundMe pages and stuff which we'll try and link in the description after this just to try and help raise some money there's activities there's dog walks there's a big dog walk which set off a little earlier there's, and now there's a little one we're on obviously we've got little legs Everest he, he cannot do a he cannot do a five mile walk so yeah that's pretty much what we're doing we're gonna have a little lap round here and then we're gonna go back and we're gonna see I think there's like puppy contests and best looking dogs and agility and there's loads of little food places loads of little stalls so it'll be interesting to see what what happens Beautiful mud bath. Call it, you're not calling, don't even think about it. <laughs> Honestly, he's any puddle he <laughs> Oh my god. Oh, <laughs> <laughs> bless him. <laughs> oh my god. Pyrenee Yinning is. Yeah, he's 15 weeks. 15? Yeah. We've not weighed him anymore yet, so next time we weigh him, I think he's going to jump a fair bit. But how old is he? Uh, he's five this year. Oh, bloody hell. He's four, so. You hear a lot of bad things about them, don't you? Like selective people and that. Yeah. Are they out of stock? Yes, yes. Hello. Oh, I don't know. <laughs> Almost there now. Cord is still going. There's a good shot of his little bandana he got. There you go. <laughs> Everest this way. Benefits for dogs. Very nice. Yeah, yeah we are right. Everest number 32 so we've come back the van just for a little break obviously I think we overestimated underestimated sorry that little walk Um, cord handled it well obviously I had to carry Everest pretty much all the way around I did say that this was for guide dogs but it's not for even dogs so anything that any money that's raised today goes towards funding a dog that can help with hearing apparently it costs a lot of money to do that to train a, a dog up so what they did was they put on a, a dog walk at Raby Castle a lovely place obviously there's a castle here there's a, there's a lake everything you could want the big nice open grounds obviously we've seen some deer already basically what they're wanting is a, an excuse for people to get together walk dogs obviously when you you mention dogs and you've got a big wide clientele there uh, so they've got a free bandana i don't know where the leads are at the minute but we got that when we signed up we met a hearing dog just there i took a little video of them lovely dogs dead placid perfect for helping people out we've got tea and cake now we've come back the van for now because everest is well he's asleep i think he's snoring at the minute just between my feet there two o'clock we've entered them into some classes so code has been entered into the nicest eyes or the prettiest eyes and 
Everest is in the best well kept category I think which right now well to be fair most of it's on my coat now after carrying them so yeah it's a lovely place there's plenty of GoFundMe pages set up to so people can donate and help train these other dogs so I'll try and link them in this in the description like I said there's water just there there's the bandanas what I mentioned earlier just click nice on the wall hearing for deaf people all good cause number 32 is Everest and Coda is 33 yeah. and we've got a bag full of hot dogs and treats and whatnot we will run through what treats we can actually give them because with so and so here having colitis it really makes it awkward but we have we have found a decent range now of things that actually work these royal canine in there are actually low in calories for dogs so we can give them pretty much as much as we want of them so our little food we've got a chicken and sweet corn sandwich from the petrol station we have got a bottle of oasis we did eat we did eat one on the way here so and the legend that is punchy paprika max crisps now the dogs aren't going to get any of that obviously but we do have a pocket full of fishy treats which are absolutely honking the van out right now and we got some treats there bedtime biscuits calming biscuits for dogs so they should be pretty good so these treats are rather suave made to a recipe crafted by my michelle Rowe using exceptionally healthy ingredients such as flaxseed, chamomile, pumpkin seed, cranberries, seaweed, probiotic spinach and green tea extract. No artificial colorants, no artificial preservatives formulated without wheat and wheat gluten. Ideal, calming biscuits. Suave biscuits for these two mutts. These two lunatics. Very chill at the minute. So the problem was, on the way here, it's taken us about 40 minutes to get here. And the solution was we thought we'd stop off, we'd let them have a run, tie them out, and then we could crack on with the day and they'll be good as gold. However, once we got them back to the van, we noticed quite a bit of blood on Corda's leg. So at the minute he's got a little bandage on. It looks worse than it is. And he'd snapped his what's it called? His dew claw. Now it wasn't very it wasn't a very nice sight, it wasn't very pleasant. But after a few panicking minutes and cleaning it up and that because in the camper van we always carry a first aid kit and a doggy first aid kit just in case anything ever happens like this. So never just snoring. Yeah, so we, we carry a first aid kit all the time. And um, pretty much Google said, clean the, clean the blood up, safen it, bandage it, and you've just got to wait it out. So that's what we've done. We cleaned it out, we've wiped it, we've wrapped it up in some absorbent material and a, a few sticky pads, and then bandaged it very well so none of that mud or anything that we've done today can get in there. And then once we've done today, we will be taking it off, clearing it again, and watching out in case he knocks it again and it starts bleeding, and we'll stop any infection or anything like that. So yeah, trust Coda. We knew, we knew the problem because we were setting off quite early, but not early as usual. That something would go wrong. It usually does, and it's usually him. Always him. But to be fair to him, I think he's grew out of his hypochondriac stage now. So, he's not that bothered now. Great catch. <laughs> Everest in for best condition now. After rolling about in mud. After we brushed him.
doing his tour for once as well. Keeps finding the sheep poo on the floor and eating it. <laughs> Not the best what we want, is it? And you, be it. Our Canadian friends in the corner there, rooting for us. <laughs> oh, it's a fix. Oh, it's a fix. We're not even top three. Oh. Oh, we didn't win. So that's it. That's it for today. The day is over with. Unfortunately, we didn't in, we didn't even come top three in any of our positions in our competitions. <laughs> Everest wants to stay. Likes it here. But if you want to see more of our content, don't forget to subscribe, like the video, or comment, follow our Instagram as well, which is K9s and Camper Vans too. We'll be doing more like this and obviously more camping. Again, we were supposed to go camping this weekend, but with us having the on and the dogs, we were rained off again. So yeah, make sure you like and subscribe guys. Cheers. Gotta. Can you believe? Best eyes. You didn't win that? We love you. We think you've got the best eyes, son. Yes, we do. Yeah. Look at them faces. Yeah. So, if you want to know more about deaf dogs, feel free to head over to the website. We'll link it all in the description. They have got a Facebook page as well. We'll link everything below. Search it out. Go for me pages, go and donate if you can. Every little helps to get a new dogs trained up. Cheers guys. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Hit the bell to turn on notifications. You can also follow us on Instagram, Twitter and Facebook but under the same name, K9 and Camper Vans. We're gonna leave lots of photos on Instagram from today. Bye guys. <laughs>